don't want to have to deal with on a daily basis. So typically you'll get suggestions listed in here based on your behavior. So the more you use your phone, the more it's going to learn about you. So right now, this was one of the rules that it already suggested to me, which is low battery saver. So what it does is it recognizes when my battery is less than 20% and my device is not charging or plugged into any source, it's going to take the following actions. It's going to set my display brightness to 25%, turn my GPS off, and disable any background syncing of uh, data. Just to try to prolong the device, you know, typically when you're at 20%, you start to get worried about, you know, oh, my device is going to go out on me because no one can handle being without their cell phones in this day and age. So also, just because this was a suggested rule does not mean that I can't customize it. So every one of these options is still customizable by me. So I can still adjust when the battery, uh, when this option will start come, uh, appearing to me. Uh, charging, I can say any source, wall, USB, not charging. I mean, everything is customizable. And if, so if I just want to, you know, edit this rule quickly, I can just slide this off, and that part of the rule is no longer active. It's still present, so if I want to just add it back later, it's simple. I just add it back, it comes right back. And how, how deep can these actions go? Like, how so, complicated can you get with creating? So I'll show you the full list, actually. Okay. Okay, so when you add a rule, you can add a sample, start from scratch, or copy from existing rules. So any rule that's currently active, you can use. So if I want to start from scratch, I have a set of triggers and actions. So triggers are where we're going to enable the rule, or the actions, and uh, actions are what's actually going to happen. So these are some of the list of the actions that you can, or the triggers that you, uh, will take place. Location, uh, time frame, battery level, charging, display, headphones, incoming call, missed call, Wi-Fi connect, Bluetooth connect, and motion detector. So you can get pretty specific and pretty creative with the rules that you can come up with. And they're they're very helpful too. So, you know, I can incoming call, all incoming call are from the following numbers. I mean, it does provide you with a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So after you set up those, the trigger list is just as extensive. Send a text message, send notification, play a playlist, ringer volume, ringtone, wallpaper, launch application, launch website, display timeout, brightness, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, background sync, airplane mode, and cellular data. The list you know, just goes on and on. Lots of options, lots of ability to customize. However, we're not going to just leave you hanging and have you come up with your own rules. So, for sample, we already provide with you with an extensive list of sample rules to get you started. So all these are uh, usable by are, are usable at any time. Also, you can customize any one of these that you see fit. So, for example, sleep. You know, oh, this kind of works for what I need, but I can still I can change the time frame of it. You know, maybe I sleep more during the day than I do at night. You know, very customizable. So it, it can on auto user. come on at a certain time of the day. Yep. It'll switch to sleep mode. Yep. So assuming uh, so, if I remove this. Okay, and I add the rule. So, as soon as the conditions for this are met, this will this uh, text right here instead of ready will say active. Okay. And then you'll also get a prompt up here in your status bar as soon as it's active. So you'll know when the rule is actually running. Okay. So it's completely customizable, fantastic. So also, Motocast, which is one of uh, Sanjay's uh, uh, big announcements today, is we've implemented it into our uh, connected gallery or conne and connected media player. So this is also new to Verizon devices is our uh, Motorola media player. And but what it does is it recommends songs, videos, and other musical content based on some of your interests that you look at. So I can go ahead and you know recommended songs, and I can actually access these for through the Verizon Wireless uh, Music Store as well. So for my library, right now this is synced with uh, my PC. So I'm getting content from both the phone and from my PC in a seamless uh, music list right now. Now when will it work if your PC isn't on? Like, is it stored in? It's not stored in cloud. It, it's stored on your PC. Yep. And so if your PC is off, it's not going to be able to connect to it. No. Okay. No. Does it? Um, can, do you guys connect up to your Google Music Beta? Or anything like that? This does not sync with a uh, Google Music Beta. Like. Okay. Okay. for anything that you have up there. This is directly between your phone and your PC, so it's pretty much your own. It's not quite a cloud. It's kind of uh -huh. your own private you know, network, almost, if you will. Okay. Right. So it's a little bit different from you know what's out there, where a lot of services are pushing the whole cloud.
cloud service, put your music up with us. But this is just your PC, you your phone. One PC to one phone? No, you can actually set up multiple if you'd like. So right now we have two different uh, PCs hooked up to this, and I can you know turn them off at will. Does that mean if you, upload, if you took a video on that or something, you would upload it to both PCs? Uh, he showed that on stage. Right. It would no. It would upload to yes. It would upload to both. Okay. No. And does it have any sort of capability to turn on your PC when you're away? You're not able to. No. It doesn't okay. have any kind of master control. It's basically just looking at what you have up on your uh, PC. Okay. So it's uh, very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> So this is playing over uh, Motocast right now. Sorry, it's really faint. There it goes. So very nice, very convenient. I can press the info button, and it's going to start loading up information about uh, the user who I'm listening to. So it'll show me news, events, photos, similar artists. You know, very convenient. It'll also download album art. Oh, I'm sorry. So, 50 cent, and it'll start, so it'll show me events, photos, similar artists, so it'll show me all of his albums that he's put out, you know, it's really, it's really a good way of getting immersed in your whole, you know, music world and learning a lot about, you know, what's out there and what are, what is accessible to you, so.